Hello, my sock universe. As you probably can tell from the background, which is still very club centered, I've shot this video well before Euro 2024. The reason I have not published it sooner is simple. Neither of the teams that I am unpacking here have either qualified for Euro 2024 or featured at the Copa America. And so I held this video and if I wouldn't have bought any jerseys in between, I, it might have come out during the Euros, but I decided to do it this way. Just a little note, the audio is still with my old microphone where I forgot to turn off the noise cancellation. I tried to salvage the audio as good as I could, but it's still not great. I hope you can see past that the jerseys are well worth watching. I have two more shirts in this parcel that uh, Andy sent me. Those are two shirts. One that I really wanted to have uh, and he helped me get it because free shipping within the UK was kind of a new brainer. And the other one, he took the liberty to buy two and get one for me. And given that this was a jersey that I have been after, especially during the last World Cup for quite a while. And then, yes, it's an African jersey also during the AFCON. I kind of said, yeah, I'm taking your second one as well. Both were, I want to say, around 30 pounds, if I remember correctly. So nothing really too expensive, but some two really, really nice shirts. And they're also relatively recent ones. I would say let's take out the one from the World Cup because um, it's maybe the one with the bigger recognition. Uh, fact factor, it is a Puma shirt. It is red. The Morocco World Cup home jersey, the one that has such a beautiful reference to the one from the 98 World Cup as well. As always, Puma jerseys have tons of paper coming with them. And again, keep this paper. This is valuable paper if you want to apply a name set or patches and, and so on. That's heat resistant paper for you to take. But it's the jersey we want to look at. See, there's even paper around the tag, <laughs> which that is a little bit weird. Now, it actually makes some sense as well, so let's keep it on. You know, if you want to apply it, you don't want to burn the tags. You all have seen this jersey, but here it is in all its glory. Uh, the Morocco home jersey in red. I agree, it might look a tad simplistic given that this is only printed on and you know in this box of style the previous the Puma tie tablet at the 998 World Cup was a, maybe a little bit more um, because it wrapped around a bit more but it's such a beautiful reference I really like it I also like uh, especially the way the color uh, goes with green and so yeah I'm really pleased to have it I am assuming in Arabic this on the back here says Maroc uh, however it is pronounced in Arabic. Well, I'm really, really, really pleased to have this jersey. Um, I have one Morocco jersey, which is in green, ever since I have it. And for me, Morocco was always more in green than in red, although the flag is red with a green star on, on it. So having a red home jersey makes sense. But it was always not that easy to get kind of a red jersey. So yeah, I'm thanks, Andy, for thinking about me, take, taking the liberty to buying this shirt jersey uh, for me as well. It's a real pretty, pretty, pretty one. Now that I have also an office uh, colleague from Morocco, I think she'll be quite pleased if I show up in a Morocco jersey or jersey in red as well. Okay, here's Morocco. I'm wearing Scotland mainly because Andy sent it, but all these teams are from, you know, the western edge of uh, the European and African continent. So, which one could this be? If I show it to you, uh, you'll probably see it immediately. It's green. It's technically my first Evercore story shirt. Although I got the Villa shirt sooner, this one was ordered before that one. So, technically, this is my first Castori shirt. It's, of course, the Ireland home jersey where they failed to qualify for the Euros. It was also won by the Ireland women's team. Uh, at the previous Women's World Cup. So a uh, really, really nice shirt. Let's take take it out. I'm I'm really happy to have this. This was the first ever Castori shirt where I said, man, this is actually really, really good looking. 
Again, this one has much less paper. And it's a replica version. And usually when you get uh, bags, if there's the logo on, on there, especially when it's from Adidas, Puma, Nike, um, that, says, that would suggest it's a fake for the story. It is not. So let's look at this pretty, pretty jersey. I mean, it doesn't give you this 80s feels, late 80s feels. I absolutely love the green and then the pinstriping in the in the country's colors in white and in orange and then add to it this beautiful beautiful island crest i know island at the moment are really bad but this one is super super stylish i love the sleeve cuffs it is so retro i love the color i, I, I just i absolutely love everything this is among, among my 10 favorite shirts from 2020 2023 and water shirt it, it is I realized that the island crest, uh, I mean, it has a retro feel, but it also looks kind of modern, the way that the clover is made. Absolutely gorgeous shirt. Absolutely gorgeous shirt. So pleased to have that one. And now I have an island shirt that actually fits me, because the other one that I have from 2016, the player version, is kind of a tad tight. This one fits quite well, I have to say. Very, very happy with this one. Really, I, I cannot tell you how happy, how happy I am to have this Ere jersey. So that's the haul. I have to say, I mean, this was a classic because Morocco did so well at, at the World Cup. This one has to be considered a modern classic. Uh, if only the team were better, but I absolutely love. I love both, both of them. They are in a way simple, but great. And both are very valuable additions to the collection. Yes, I won't be able to use them now that you're doing some because Ireland didn't qualify for the Euros and Morocco, of course, is not a European team, but this is my Morocco jersey going forward. So again, thanks, Andy, a whole lot for helping me out with these two shirts. Absolute stunners, absolute valued additions to the collections. Let me know what you think about these two. Give me a thumbs up. Enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!